What's up, Jules? We're jumping right into the video today because I did forget to film an intro. But to start, I just made my mock-up of my skirt to test it before I move on to my final fabric. And the fit is pretty spot on. I just need to add to the length and also fix a little bit of gapping at the hips. Other than that, I'm really satisfied with the way this mock-up turned out. Here are my front pattern pieces all cut out. I do have to go in and iron them because I had this fabric balled up for a minute. But yeah, once I do the ironing, I'll come back and show you guys what the finished pattern pieces look like. I have all my pattern pieces all ironed and laid out very nicely. This is the front of my skirt and this is the back. I have a split down the center back because that's where I decided that I want to put my zipper. And now I'm going to go and pin all the seams together so I can get ready to take them to my sewing machine. I flipped my mat over. Now it's all nice and pretty. The other side was looking busted, but I pinned my front and my back together separately. And then I'm gonna go in and put the back zipper in and then connect the side seams, but I'm getting too far ahead. I'm gonna sew these edges together and then I will be back. For my zipper, I'm going to mark my seam allowance at the top. That will be where my zipper begins. And then I will mark at the end of my zipper and that will be where my zipper ends. Also from the bottom of my skirt to my zipper stop with regular stitching and from my zipper stop to the top of my skirt with the basting stitch. This is what that seam will look like when you're all finished. Now I'm going to flip my fabric to the right side. I'm going to open my seam allowance and place my zipper right sides down and I'm going to hand baste it along each side. This is what it will look like when it's all finished. Next, I take my front and back pieces and top stitch along all of the seams. I'm using a contrasting thread to create a decorative stitch. This is what it looks like once I'm all done. Now I take my front piece and back piece and place them right sides together and sew along the side seams. Moving on to my belt, I'm taking this old belt I have and it's too thick so I can't use it but I am going to be using the belt buckle and putting it on a new belt that I make. Once I get the buckle removed, it has like glue residue, so I'm just taking this old nail file and kind of sanding that and buffing that away. And once I finish doing that, it's going to look all nice and shiny. Next, I'm going to cut out my belt pieces and then iron all of the wrinkles out. I take those pieces to my sewing machine and top stitch all the edges and then I sew in my belt buckle. This is what it looks like when I'm all done. Now I go in with my ruler and mark all of my eyelet holes one inch apart. And then I punch those out. Then I'll go in and put all of my eyelets in. This is so loud and I just think it's so hilarious watching this video back. Once I finish the belt, I'm going to go in and sew my facing along the top edge of my skirt. Once I finish that, I'm going to go in and top stitch my zipper and then I'm going to top stitch along the top edge of my skirt. I'm also going to go in and finish my hemline and this is what my skirt looks like so far. The lines are so crisp and it looks just beautiful. We're almost done but I still need to put on the belt loops so let's go do that. Ta-da! 
The sewing portion of my skirt is finally done. It's looking like a masterpiece, but now we're gonna accessorize it and paint it and make it look even more dope. So let's get into that. Before I get into painting, I wanted to show you guys what the skirt looks like before. It's so perfect. I love the fit. Now let's get into the painting. I went in and did a little sketch on my iPad so I know what I want to put on my skirt. Before I begin painting, I'm going to prep the surface that I'm going to be painting on with rubbing alcohol. I lay down my sketch with a pen and then I'm ready to begin painting. I'll be using Angelus leather paint and two precision paint brushes. Here is another part of the skirt that I prepped. One side is very matte and the other is very shiny. This is why it's very important to prep before you paint. Once I allow my paint to dry overnight, I'm going to apply my Angelus acrylic finisher. Here is my finished skirt. It's so dope. It's a masterpiece. I'm so in love. If you guys love this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe and click the notification bell because in two days I will be posting a photo shoot.